Welcome to Daily CoinQ Crypto News. Here are today's headlines. ASIC President Longo says growing demand for cryptocurrencies cannot be ignored. Bank of England sees CBDC as a revolution for the future of money. The Fed carried out a policy sprint around crypto assets in order to create regulatory clarity. Exodus Wallet integrates with Sportex to enable esports betting in crypto. India is preparing to ban most cryptocurrencies. Now let's dive into the details. ASIC President Longo says growing demand for cryptocurrencies cannot be ignored. Joe Longo, the chairman of the Australian Securities and Investments Commission, or ASIC, spoke at the Australian Wealth and Financial Supervaluation Summit on November 22nd at the Fullerton Hotel in Sydney. The rise of the cryptocurrency, he said, was nothing extraordinary and inevitable. As a market and company regulator, Longo admits a particular fascination for decentralized autonomous organizations, or DAOs. He said they pose specific challenges to national regulators like ASIC. To paraphrase a concept familiar to corporate lawyers, whom does ASIC go to define the mindset and will of a DAO? It's unclear who is to blame when something goes wrong or does not go as planned or predicted. It is also unclear how the DAO itself could be held liable in court. The Bank of England sees CBDC as a revolution for the future of money. In a live stream event on Wednesday, Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey and Assistant Governor of Financial Stability Sir John Cunliffe answered questions from lawmakers on the Economic Committee. When asked about the development of innovations around digital currencies in the country, Sir Cunliffe made the following comment. It's pretty hard to predict how innovators will take the money and use it in the future, but we're starting to see that programmable money is used in the crypto world, and I expect we will see a similar revolution in the function of cash driven by technology. The Bank of England is currently exploring options to implement a digital pound CBDC for bulk payments. A task force behind the CBDC is also using digital pounds to distribute payslips, pensions, and more. The Fed carried out a policy sprint around crypto assets to create regulatory clarity. The Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System announced that it recently worked with the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation and the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency in a series of the Sprint policy aimed at providing regulatory clarity in cryptocurrencies. The interdisciplinary efforts include a better understanding of the terminology surrounding crypto assets, identifying potential risks, and analyzing existing regulatory frameworks to identify any changes. According to the Fed, the three agencies plan to address whether certain crypto-related activities of banking institutions are legally permissible by 2022, in addition to possibly regulating compliance and enforcement standards with applicable laws and regulations regarding custody services that buying and selling cryptocurrencies, crypto-secured loans, hodling, and stable coin issuance. The trio also intends to consult with the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision, an international committee of banking regulators and central banks that makes recommendations for banks considering holding money. Exodus Wallet integrates with SportX to enable esports betting in crypto. Exodus Crypto Wallet has officially been integrated into SportX, an online crypto and sports betting platform that enables users to bet on esports games through intelligent contracts. The code is executed on the Polygon network. The partnership announced on Tuesday will give Exodus more than 1 million users access to SportX's decentralized betting exchange where they can bet on a variety of sports games and esports using cryptocurrencies. The minimum bet is $5 US dollars in USDC coin, which can be sent directly to the Exodus wallet or exchanged for one of the 138 supported cryptocurrencies. All markets created, traded, and settled on SportX are supported by the Polygon network. SportX is currently approved for use in Canada, South America, most European countries except France and Netherlands, and Asia. India is preparing to ban most cryptocurrencies. The Indian government is in the process of banning most private cryptocurrencies. Nonetheless, according to the agenda of the bill, India will allow certain exceptions to promote the technology. To provide a favorable framework in creating an official digital currency issued by the Reserve Bank of India, 
the bill aims to ban all private cryptocurrencies in India. However, it allows specific exceptions to advance the underlying technology and use case of cryptocurrencies. This ban creates the conditions for the issuance of CBDCs, which are also mentioned in the draft law. The first version is scheduled to hit the market in 2022. This news comes as no surprise to those who have been following the regulatory developments in India regarding digital assets. A government source told Reuters last week that the government will ban all cryptocurrencies that are not allowed. If the government has approved a cryptocurrency, it can be traded. Otherwise, holding or selling this coin can be punished with penalties. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the CoinQ channel to stay up to date on the latest news.